All right, what's up guys? Will Customs here. So today we're going to give you a nice little walkthrough on how to install an XK Underglow kit on your 2020 Subaru WRX. It will, you know, pretty universal. Some things will be specifically for WRX, but you can make it work on your vehicle with the same roundabout knowledge. All right. Is that the rag you put over people's yeah, faces? Yeah. The smoke you. <laughs> right. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Right. <laughs> so your first thing is, you know, get the vehicle up in the air, either with a lift if you have access or a jack stands, and you gotta find a place to put your underglow. Ideally, you want to not be able to see the LED strips, just the light that it emits. So we usually try to put it up next to your pinch weld here, but unfortunately on the WRX, they have these little humps here, which is gonna impede on putting it. So what we're gonna do instead is just put it in this nice little groove right here. It'll sit a little bit below the groove so it will be protected, and it will still emit light good underneath the car. So first thing you wanna do is wipe down with alcohol because part of the way it sticks is with double-sided tape. So you need a nice, clean, non-contaminated surface to stick it to. Okay, so that's how it'll sit. You uh, also want to try and get it as centered as possible to the car, just so it doesn't look offset when it's lit up. But with these strips, most sedans, especially coupes, they are the length of the car, usually a roundabout, so it's not too big of a deal. All right, so then off to the next side. And that's done, all right? It's Bluetooth? Yeah, no, no wires, it just <laughs> works with magic. Pixie dust. All right, so we also have these little brackets which help keep it up because double-sided tape isn't super reliable. So we're going to screw these into the plastic underbody as well as having double-sided tape. It's fancy as fuck. All right. <laughs> it's not even for that, but it looks good for it. Also, when putting these brackets on, you want to make sure that you don't cover up the actual LED diode. And that's yeah, that much more security. Yeah, so sometimes you gotta get a little creative to hide the underglow just right. So we had some of these flexible strips sitting around. We just put two of them together to get them to hug the uh, spare tire well. So otherwise the bar would have to go like here and you can see that hang up below the car. So that's where you tuck it up. It's safer for the strip, I don't get hit. Plus it, just, it looks a lot better. Magic. When you're running your wires from strip to strip, you want to do your best to keep it as high as possible. You don't want to really see it too much. I mean, sometimes you will see a little bit of a wire chilling, but you don't want to just like run it across your car like so. You want to keep it up, away from anything spinning, away from anything hot. Mm. So keep it as far away from your exhaust, obviously it's just chilling since I stopped. And keep it away from axles, drive shafts, wheels. Anything that's going to spin, it can rip it out. So you just got to figure out what works best for your car. Usually for the back, I'll try and get above the subframe, usually above the gas tank. 
just to keep it off out of the way and safe and looking good. All right, so what you're looking for? So, I'm looking for a way to enter the vehicle with wires because this control box right here is also touch sensitive. So when the system is on, you can touch this and it's like through some colors and different settings. So in case for some reason your phone dies, you can't get a connection or whatever, you can still access it somewhat easily from the vehicle. So I try to hide it so you don't see it, so it doesn't look bad. So I'm just trying to find right now my best point of entry for some wires. With looking at it, I got a couple options. There's a nice grommet right here, nice one up there, another one below it. So I know I'm gonna be going into this general area. <laughs> so, can I get a mother? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a call. I thought you were just doing it. Yeah, so you just want to make sure that your wires aren't going to come loose and drag the ground or anything. So just, just dip tie them to a nice little sturdy spot like that. And yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. So uh, XK Glow includes these nifty little wire holders. You just stick them to something, you tuck the wire in. It's not like a big like zip tie, so I can hold tension, but it'll keep it from falling. So I keep it from falling to exhaust or something. It's pretty handy. So now I'm trying to find somewhere in the interior to uh, mount the button and control box. So I find some of this inconspicuous but easy to access. So like in the glove box, in some kind of container or something. I'm just trying to find that right now. <coughs> so now I've had that milk set. Is it behind the gas pedal? Above. Above. Oh, I see it. Got it. My shirt's stuck, hold on. There we go. Good? Yeah. Ow. Right, so this is the uh, touch pad receiver. What? This is the touch pad receiver. And I'm uh, putting it inside the car pipe behind the dash. I'm showing some double sided tape on it so I can stick it back there so it's not going to be falling and dangling ahead of your feet, being annoying. And uh, so I plug a couple wires into it, and this is installed.
You want just one? No. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It is I, uh, Jesus. Repent your sins. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> what you doing under there? Uh, just for a switched power source down here. So I'm just using a standard fuse tap to tap off of the ignition fuse in here. So this only has power when the key's on. So it's not gonna sit here and just drain your battery while you have the car parked. It's actually a proper way to do it and it is on a fuse. So if anything fails, it'll pop the fuse instead of catching the car on fire. Just a proper way to do it. So now I just gotta do my ground. So one of those wires are backwards or something. No, it's just three LEDs in the thing itself is bad. Yeah, you can't put the wires backwards. No, I'm saying like inside of the strip. Yeah, something, oh, something failed yeah. inside the strip itself. I think it's kind of dope. I just keep it like that. That's the fucking exclusive. Everybody has it like that. Alright guys, so as you see our underglow kit is finished, installed, and is working. But unfortunately, if you take a look here, these three diodes are red, while the rest is green, and the rest of the car is green. Unfortunately, we got a defective soft strip. So something inside is failed, miswired, broken, something. So it's causing three diodes to kind of not be the correct color on certain cars. So unfortunately, we gotta get a hold of the XK Glow and have them send us out a new strip. Nothing on our part, it just it happens, stuff fails, it's all man-made. Um, so besides for that, the car looks great. Lights up good, and ironically, it's my like festive little color it's messing up on. But yeah, so, that's pretty much how you install underglow. It's not uh, not the hardest job in the world, it's just a little bit time consuming with wiring, but it's really worth it in the end, it looks good. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Just come on first though. <laughs> on today's episode of Raw Customs How To, we're teaching you how to build a Jeep disassembled from the factory.